Hi guys, it's Janine Patrice. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And today I wanted to talk about the 10 things that I've learned in my first year of being locked. Number one, locks unravel. This is the first lesson I've learned and I've learned that it doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, some people get their starter locks and once they wash it after the first week, they all unravel and they have to redo them. It's just a process of training your hair. Number two, no personal styling within the first few months. By personal styling, I mean like don't really stretch your hair into buns or ponytails. I made this mistake in my first few months and I wish that I could go back and not do that. I don't think it was best for my hair so I would advise you guys not to do that and that's definitely something I've learned. Number three is not having a retwist is not the end of the world. Just because you're not getting your hair retwisted doesn't mean that your hair is you know looking bad or anything like that. Something that I was recently told by my lactician within the past couple months of me getting my hair retwisted, I think I went in there and I was like, yeah, I my hair was starting to get wild so I had to come in or something like that. And she was like, well, locks are supposed to be like, you know, carefree and you know, a little wild and a little this or that. And I was like, you know what, that's true. It's okay for your locks to be carefree. They don't always have to be neat and nice to be good. Number four, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks about your hair as long as you're comfortable with yourself. And I feel like this is like a true testament of how you really feel about yourself and how you look and your image. I feel as though this first year of having locks has made me realize that I can't really care about what other people think about my hair or whatever they think looks best for me. It's all about if I'm comfortable with myself and do I think that I look good myself. Number five, there is no solution for frizz. <laughs> Um, I've been recently asked about frizz and although I don't think that my hair was extremely frizzy when I was going through the beginning stages of my locks, I did experience some frizz and I just know that you can't really solve it. Not when your locks are still maturing at least. It's just all a part of the process of your hair um, sort of bonding together um, into the lock and being able to form the lock. So. There's no solution for it, it's just you have to embrace it and love your hair regardless because I think frizz is pretty cool anyway and we should embrace it more. Number six, if you are not crazy about your locks within the first month, there's still time to change your hair. Don't feel like you have to be married to your locks. Don't hesitate to start your journey over if you need to. Within that first couple of months, your hair is not really locked yet, so if you're not crazy about how the locks look at first and how they might be patterned on your head or how they might lay, you can always comb them out. You can always change it up or like, you know, combine, separate twists or comb coils if you have to and recomb coil them again into smaller locks. Don't feel like you're married to your locks within the first couple of months because you can easily change it to however you want it to be because locks are a lot more permanent <laughs> um, the further along you get so make sure that you do love them. Number seven is that comb coils and two strand twists are all about personal preference. I think people tend to choose whatever for this and I honestly don't think it really has that big of a difference on the overall look in the end. I feel as though people have said that comb coils provide a more uniformed look whereas two strand twist is not so as uniform and that may be the case but I honestly feel like at the end of the day when your locks mature I feel like nobody can really tell the difference between oh you started from comb coils or you started from two strands so I think it's all about personal preference it's all about resources if you don't feel like going to a loctician to start your comb coils and you feel like you can't do it on your own go ahead and do the two strand twist if you're comfortable doing your own hair. And yeah, it just all depends on how you would want to start. But it's all about personal preference. I think a lot of, I think you can probably get away with more styling at the beginning with two strand twists and comb coils from what I've observed or what I think about it. But yeah, it's all about personal preference. Number eight, styling too tight and for too often can cause damage to your hair. I have mentioned before that I've had styles that were too tight and that was a miscommunication on my part with my loctician 
However, I wasn't getting my styles super often and not every time that I would go in would I get a style. Sometimes I would just get a regular retwist. Nowadays, I'm getting these two strands in my head because they're just so much easier to manage and they're really cute to me. So just be mindful of how tight your styles are. I'm not saying getting your hair styled is a bad thing. It's definitely not. But just being mindful that if it's too tight and if you're doing tight styles often, that could have an effect on your roots. It can have an effect on your hairline, your edges, and we don't need those kind of problems. So um, the ninth thing that I've learned with having locks within this first year is that having locks doesn't mean that you have to conform to a certain style whether it be clothing accessories or a certain look i know a lot of people have changed up their style from even when they were relaxed so sometimes people with relaxed hair feel like they need to dress a certain way and then when you go natural it's like oh should i be more earthy or whatever and then when you get locked it's like oh <laughs> you must be extra woke and I must change my style or my thought process and that isn't the case at all you can be the same person that you were relaxed natural or with locks you don't have to change up your style at all you don't have to start rocking dashikis if you don't want to I mean that's a personal preference. You can rock a dashiki no matter what your hair looks like. I just learned that don't feel pressure to look a certain way or feel like you have to, you know, conform to a certain style just because you've seen people with locks with a certain style. And it also just doesn't mean that, you know, locks can't be formal or can't be dressed up or super cute. I think a lot of people are like, oh, you have locks, you must be laid back and you don't care and whatnot. It doesn't always necessarily have to be the case. You choose your style, your hair doesn't choose your style for yourself. Don't ever feel like your hair doesn't match your aura or your sense of style. I feel like it's just hair and you can make it go with whatever style you have. The tenth and final thing that I've learned within this first year of being locked is that, like wine, locks get better with time. They age like fine wine, I feel like, and the more you have your locks, the more that they develop and the more that they have some length to it or even if you want to keep them short, that's fine. The more mature that your locks become, the better they look and just know that no matter what phase you might be in that you might not feel comfortable with your locks in, it's not going to last forever. It's just like anything else in life. Time moves on. You heal from things. You learn. You grow. So do your locks. Your locks are growing along with you. And the more mature they, they get, the more beautiful that they become. So it's only going to get better from here. I hope you enjoyed my video about 10 things that I've learned within the first year of having locks. Let me know if this helped you at all, encouraged you in the comments below it's definitely still a learning process for me i'm still learning my hair every day because it's just such a different journey than i've ever been on before so make sure you like this video don't forget to comment below and also subscribe if you want to hear more about my lock journey to keep up with my locks and to see what i'm doing else in life i'll see you in the next video bye